delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted his redemption. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So this episode of Kitchen Nightmares is called Gordon Ramsay Visits Burger Kitchen. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Third Street in Los Angeles, a young, hip neighborhood known for trendy shops and restaurants. In 2010, <laughs> Alan and Jen Saffron opened a restaurant called The Burger Kitchen. Good evening. Welcome to Burger Kitchen. My name is Alan. Thank you for coming. Alan's always had the dream to run a restaurant because he's always enjoyed... <laughs> you do the cheese in the middle, you seal the beef, and then hey, you put the cheese on the top. That's what the ultimate cheeseburger... What? You do the cheese in the middle... Alan's always had the dream to run a restaurant because he's always enjoyed meat. You do the cheese in the middle... Anyways. You seal the beef and then you do the cheese on the top. That's what the ultimate cheeseburger is. <laughs> I have really eaten meat all my life. I've eaten in hundreds of different steak restaurants. And then I figured I'll try and get into a hamburger restaurant. <laughs> We're not we didn't have the money to open up the best <laughs> burger in LA. And I <laughs> He said that she said he, he's always wanted to open up a burger restaurant because he's always enjoyed meat. <laughs> it took the money from my son Daniel. I was kind of dragged into this um i got a sizable inheritance from my grandfather there was money in a trust account and my dad took 250,000 of my money to put it into this restaurant hey guys how you doing because of that <gasps> he got left money by his grandfather and he stole it you're lying to me right now <laughs> You're lying! Uh, no freaking way! Uh, me personally? That's what I'm saying, this poor kid! Uh, oh my god! I had to make the place work, but my dad is not running Burger Kitchen well. All of our burgers are prime wagyu. That's the best meat you can buy in the country. I've now changed our standard burgers all to Australian wagyu. It's all frozen. We take it out of the freezer. <laughs> it really sucks, though, dude. I know. It's like really dry. Throw that out. My God, man. You buy your patties pre-made and they're dry and you know it's not good, but you continually say it is because you don't have any taste buds. Really not good. Burger kitchen is... No, that is like straight up raw. That is so disgusting. Uh, what? <laughs> by a dysfunctional family. We got three chiefs and about four Indians today. There's a lot of tension within all the family members, which filters down to us, of course. I have an order of sweet potato fries, okay, and I have two tickets. Until we figure it out. David, 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 you need to listen to me. It's hard to be belittled every day, and so. For me to come to work now is like almost unbearable. David, I'll handle this, and then you can come back and expedite, okay? Oh. You can't expedite nothing. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, we saw this clip like a while ago in a compilation, and I was thinking this guy is so rude, but I feel like we're gonna start to see his side of things. It's gonna be very interesting. It is such a chaotic work environment with Alan, Jen, Daniel. Is he doing a natural for 44? Yes, he is doing a natural for 44. It is just a train wreck and a half. I can organize the tickets. I don't know why they can't get it through their fucking skulls. It's okay. All right, relax. I did not picture myself doing this, but these are the cards I've been dealt, and I want to make it a success. Oh. Still does not have their I feel I so bad for him. Oh, I feel so bad for this boy. Poor guy. It's coming. It's all coming. I've told Ricardo to make it on the fly. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But my father, he does not treat me as an equal partner. He still treats me like a child. It's very infuriating. Please help me, please. I am absolutely at the end of my rope. Yeah, like free him right now. Man is rocking a fedora. He kind of deserves it. Stop. No way. <laughs> I'd be mad too if Alan was my dad. Real. <laughs> the son is annoying. Yeah. I mean, he is kind of being a little annoying right now, but I also empathize a lot with his position, but I feel like my empathy might change once we get more of an experience with him. <laughs> it's 
so funny. I don't have anyone to lean on. I really don't. Chef Ramsay is our last hope. I know, that's what I mean. I He is, like, in those clips, like, being rude to people, but, like, he has $250,000 into a burger place that sucks. Like, that is a bad feeling. Yeah, he doesn't want to be there either, which is also a bad feeling. Smack bang in the middle of Los Angeles. The burger kitchen. Wow. Nice. Hello. Morning. How are you? Alan Safran, how are you? Alan, good to see you. Thank you very much for coming. This is my wife, Jane. Jane. Jane, good to see you. When Chef Ramsay arrived, it just blew my mind. Let's sit down and have a chat, shall we? Oh, he looks so excited. Chef Ramsay in here to improve us. Otherwise, what? Is he here for? Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, how long have you been open? 16 months. So 16 months ago. Yeah, yeah. So just opened. Yes. I just like Jen so much. Oh God. Why use pre-made patties? Yeah, I agree. He's like, oh, our beef is like premier, like Wagyu beef, like it's the best you can get. And then it's like pre-made dry patties. Is the business making money? No, we're losing 5,000 up to 6,000 a month, every wow. month. Wow, wow, wow. How can it go so wrong? I, I think it was a combination of a lot of things. I think Glasses we, on. I think we changed the menu many too, too many times. How many times have we changed the menu? Probably 10. 10 times? Yes. That's nearly once a month. What about the chef? I mean, uh, normally we, a menu changes when the chef changes. They've changed the menu 10 times and they've only been open for 13 months. What is going on? Well, we've had about 10. 10 as well? Yes. Front of house been as bad? Yeah, we've been through about 20 servers. 10 menus, 10 chefs, 20 servers. What's going wrong? Yelp has killed us. Yelp, Yelp has crashed us terribly. They're also deleting five star reviews. Oh, come on. I can prove The what killed us? Yeah, the glasses are on. It's serious. The Yelpers killed us. They're deleting five-star reviews. Okay, we're already starting off on a bad foot. The excuses are rolling in. Oh. Okay. Broniest! What link? <laughs> what link, Broniest? <laughs> what are you talking about? They need to lock in and size up. Size up. I can show you right on the yard. Is there a plot against you from Yelp to close this business? No question in my mind. Oh, Alan, come on. You've been watching too many fucking Bond movies. Yeah. <laughs> You've been so, watching too many um, Bond movies. in LA is pretty expensive. Um, where did the money come from? Alan had about 250000 that he inherited from his dad's estate. Okay, nice. So he put all that money into it, and then we started running out of money. And uh, in order to open, my husband went to my son. Mm -hmm. And now my son Daniel is in for another, I think, over 250000 as well, because he inherited some money too. I, I was managing his money, so I actually took part of that money. And as the manager of his funds, you then invested in the business. Yes. Your no, that is like so mean. Like, that is so mean. The voice is scary. What the hell, Bronnie is? How are you? You're saving points for the lucky hat. Let's go. Let's go, whiskey. Are you the type of person to leave a negative review when the server comes and asks you if you need anything too many times? I honestly am not a reviewer of restaurants. I am not that person. Me and my um, boyfriend at the time when we were in school um, went to a restaurant and he literally had a bolt in his freaking food and he had it in his mouth and oh my god it was so bad the owner like called us repeatedly like offered us money all this stuff and still even then we didn't leave like a negative review no 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 this was like different guy this is later in like fourth year um the the guy that threw a cat was in first year and he's not relevant to my life <laughs> but yeah he bit like a bolt from the fry machine because they hadn't secured it properly it fell in his food and we still didn't leave a bad review i'm not a negative reviewer I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't do it. 
Maybe I should. I just don't. A good server bartender should be able to read how often or how little to check on a table. Too much is definitely a negative thing you're not supposed to do. Yeah. I actually recently went to a restaurant when I was in New York and they like literally cleared my place like the second I put anything down to the point of like I wasn't even done stuff and they were taking it and I was like, you're a little too good at your job. I appreciate it. But like you're just doing a little much, just a little much. Yeah, it's a problem. It's not a problem. That makes sense. Of course, you knew eventually. We say eventually. I told him after the fact. What? I That's insane. Him into it by oh. taking his money. Seriously. I'm still not okay with this. Is Daniel here? He's in the business. He does the nighttime shift. Okay. You work in the, in the daytime. All daytime. The yeah. And you don't work together? Uh, not really that much. Now, yeah, it's like, it's not funny. It's actually right. horrible. My son has a great deal of resentment <laughs> towards me. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's pretty My son has a great deal of resentment towards me. I don't know why. I'm good now. Yes. Okay. I say it's four to five stars. Four to five stars. So you're one star out. Okay. I can't wait to taste it. We've got the background. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Chef Ramsay will love my burgers without a shadow of a doubt. I'm Marilyn. Marilyn, nice yeah, to see you. Nice to meet you. First off, what's wrong with the restaurant? There's lack of management right. and the burgers. They're never cooked right. They're always sent back. Wow. Yeah. I tell people that I'm sorry probably 15 times a night. There's no consistency right, Ash? whatsoever. And that's wearing on me like as a person. I go home and I'm like, oh, I feel so guilty for serving bad food. Aww, poor girl. I recently went to a place that gave me half a pint of glass for a pint price and they kept trying to guess me the beer is a pint served in half my house limit. No! That's terrible, Vivi. Hi, Nature! It's been a minute. How are you? Nature, the goat! Yeah, we're watching an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. Okay, let's start off. I'm in California. Yeah, so that's sucks, California, Vivi. Sure. Thank you. And how would you like it cooked? Medium rare, please. Medium rare? Thank you. Okay. No, definitely cowboy burger. Okay. Yeah. Gotta see the Australian meat pie. Yeah. Obviously, I'll have to go for the award-winning burger. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, Thank you, my darling. Good. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Dirty place, mm. guys. Come on. Okay. This is a lot of food. At first, I loved working at Burger Kitchen, but all I'm doing now is fighting with the management. David, I'll handle this. Jen, I want you to get out of the way right now. It's a runaway restaurant, and I have no control. Their team said their burgers were too good. Yes. Anything you have to say, go through me. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna tell you more. Why is she in the kitchen? Why is she in the kitchen? Like, why is she doing that? But it's gonna come out well done, right? And it's probably gonna come out raw. They, yeah, that sucks, Evie. That's actually terrible. I made myself some garlic shrimp pasta. Do you have a picture of it? Can we see it? Wants to get out of the way. Chef David does not like me. He doesn't want me in the kitchen. Oh my God, that woman. And he tends to gossip and blame me for a lot that's going on. <laughs> We've made some errors here in staffing. This is like a green ring circus. Chef Ramsey, I, I noticed you ordered the cowboy. It'll take a little longer. <laughs> don't you Send want it! I want to see Nature better. if you don't mind. Lovely. Executive chef, David Blaine? Yes. What, the magician? No, 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 he's not the magician. Right. He's <laughs> you just respect me. the same name. Well, he was the head pastry chef at the Peninsula Hotel. And now he's the executive chef of the burger restaurant. Yes. David Cobb, he was the, the dessert chef. He was the head pastry sh chef at a hotel, and now he's a head burger cooker chef. What the heck? No. <laughs> Boxy. like Chef David Blaine, like the magician. <laughs> Too bad I can't disappear from here. When I came in here, I wasn't I wasn't allowed to do any of my recipes. I had to do exactly what Alan told me to do. That's the California. Even if I knew it was wrong, I still had to do it. This is the California burger. Wow. Oh God. Thank you. Man. I'm scared already. Okay, California burger. I better let you eat. Yes, you please. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Jeez. Oh my God. It's raw. Bread's just sweet, sweet and doughy. Bland, tasteless, raw meat. No flavor. It's raw! It's nasty. How are you doing? Yeah, that's rough. On the barn! Ash said it's on the barn! No! Oh my god! It looks like corn on 
it. This season. Um, I, I know they throw a little bit of salt in. Well, they're obviously blind because they're missing it. I mean, that is they're missing it. What's wrong with this one? Uh, what? What? Stop, 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 stop. What's wrong with that one? No seasoning. He doesn't like it. Oh, it's one of the best burgers I've ever tasted in my life. So it's very disappointing. It is the natural. Oh, no. Ooh, shrimp corn soup sounds delicious. You'd eat it? Honestly, if I was hungry enough, I probably would. I would like to share Chef Ramsay some specially. What does that mean, Drexmo? What does that mean? <laughs> with white cheddar. Right, Slater? How was it cooked? What do you ask for? No, that's good, medium rare. Oh, we're good on it? Yeah, yeah. And this one is? Natural with white Natural. cheddar. Oh, this is award winning. Yeah. Great, thank you. Then. Oh, God. Mm. Ah! Wow, it's raw. Hi, damsel, how are you? It's raw. That's the award winning burger. Shocking. Meredith, sorry, man. I know I asked for it mid rare, but that's the first to make bits of a burger with a tartar in the middle. That's just raw. All it means is raw. It is raw. I can't believe that my burger was that bad. That is just shocking. Yeah, it's still I don't know moving. What to think anymore. This is natural. It's um, raw in the middle. Oh, come on, guys. What the fuck is that? I was shocked that it was undercooked because I okayed the burger. But, you know, we were under a lot of stress. David, this is really bad. But Actually, Boxy? Their own deficiencies, they wanted to put it on me. I'm about done with this child of shit in here, man. I have it. 100% I am their scapegoat. I'm about to blow up. Oh! Oh, my God. Yeah, he's always served rummy. Boxy says it's part of the script. <laughs> I I kind of get why that chef like got angry though because he he definitely was about to get like all of it pinned on him. But also you can gotta be responsible what's coming out of your kitchen if you're the executive chef, right? Eat the lettuce right off the burger, literally. A burger should not be ever be that squishy, and that's coming from someone that can't eat red meat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jeff Ramsey you is important. To start to his lunch. Well, the meat's raw. And after sending another raw burger back to the kitchen, David, this is really bad. I'm about to die with this child of shit in here, man. Wow. I out of here. Tell me, Jared. Chef David Blaine wants to disappear. I'm about to blow up. People are crazy. I left out of frustration. But when I came on, I made a deal with my staff to stay. Uh, I keep my word, and that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, my god. Okay, we got the big cowboy burger, medium rare. Okay, we don't have right? Right, damsel? Oh. <gasps> this burger already looks disgusting. Like, the proportions are completely absurd. That's insane. That is so, like already. What is that? There's so much meat. That has to be the worst one. It looks like a rectangular person. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We got the cowboy done. Ah. I'm terrified to bring out no. a burger. I don't think he could swallow. <laughs> he tried. Here is the cowboy burger. Cowboy, cowboy. with a very small hat. I'm right, Slater? Where'd you start? <laughs> Honestly, look at that. He's laughing at your burger. <laughs> He's not even gonna try. Come on, seriously. Thirty-nine dollars. Thirty-nine dollars. This is bland, greasy, cooked to hell. Dad, thanks, man. Dad, right, damsel? I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's not your fault. Wow. I was shocked, disappointed, embarrassed. 
$39, right, Nature? Like, if you're buying a burger for $39, it better be the best damn burger you've ever had in your life. Because like Nature said, $39 could be, that yeah, That could literally be food for a week, honestly. You could get rice, you could get beans, you could get some sort of accessible um, meat option, some sort of protein, and make like a whole, you know, a whole uh, meal. Alan, aka Meat Sculptor. Make chicken and fanta from McDonald's. Last me a good two weeks. <laughs> He's made it's not her fault. It isn't her fault. But one thing I have that's a little different is an Australian meat pie. The Australian meat pie is the number one staple in Australia. I have brought Oof. them to America, and Chef Ramsay will absolutely love it. And that's Ramsay, by the way. She's not going to like it. What? She's not going to like it. Right, damsel? <laughs> so he's saying he's not going to like Australian it. Australian meat pie. Oh. The beef. Go down under. What is that thing? What a mess. I mean, that is disgusting. That Australian pie can flock off back to Australia with pleasure. Ah! We've got raw, doughy pastry on the top and soggy, gooey stuff on the bottom. One word for this meow, cat food. Disgusting. Ew! It's everything. I believe Chef David can't handle the menu. He's not an executive chef, as he claims. We didn't do good. <laughs> He's a pastry chef. Wow. Well, that was a... Uh, yeah, it does look soggy. Let's the uh, team. This is uh, Chef Hello. David. This is the executive Hello, chef, David. Chef. How are you? David Blaine, you? right? The magician. Wow. Show me what your magic today. This is... Jalapeno. Jalapeno. OK, great. David, <laughs> that was fucking hideous. Everything I've tasted... Okay, already this Jen lady is pissing me off. How are you gonna hear him say that was hideous and laugh? This is your restaurant. This is your menu. Why is that funny to you? Because you're a bitter, petty person. You wanna see this person fail, even if it's at the expense of your husband and sons. Each $250,000 each investment into this restaurant? has been nasty, awful, bland. And you watched all that coming out or did you cook any of it? I helped cook everything. And you can't work your magic on a burger. She is. You get paid as an executive chef? Wow. What's funny now? Is this right, a Ash? massage for you? I follow the recipes as I am told by the owners. And if I try to change the recipes, I am tossed out of here. What? It's not quite true. Come it's on, not guys. True. Man up. I've been drinking again. Drinking again? Oh. 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 It's getting hot in here. My husband doesn't drink. I don't know. I don't know. I can't get the truth out of anybody here. Explain this to me, Jen. He does have a lot of control in the kitchen. That's not true, chef. What about the mushrooms? And you changed the whole recipe, and you okay, added wine. You didn't want salt on the mushrooms. No Let's recipe. tell the truth. Did you add wine to the mushroom recipe? That's how you make sauté mushrooms. I just up. asked a question. Did you add wine? Yes, ma'am. You didn't tell anyone that you added wine to the mushrooms. Yeah, honey, you're missing the point. You're focusing on a mushroom. Mushrooms are important to me. I'm from Holland. <laughs> mushrooms are important to me. I'm from Holland. Is that what she said? Holland? What the hell? <laughs> She said Poland? Okay, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with her? That's not even relevant to the conversation. Like, this guy already looks so done. Like, Gordon's like, what the hell? Oh my god. By the way, Nature, I just saw the picture. I want all of it. Can you mail it to me right now? I am so hungry and so down to eat that. Someone called toxic, yeah. <laughs> Literally, this is fine pose. Someone take this lady to jail, right? Yeah, all the problem is, instead of putting sugar in that coffee, put a little Prozac in it. David, I just want the truth. This is the truth. I would be better off as a brain surgeon than you running this restaurant. Oh my God. All right.
right, I got you, Nature. I got you. <laughs> After Chef Ramsay was served raw and tasteless burgers. Now it's ghastly. They serve a burger with a tartar in the middle. Jen and Chef David can't seem to agree on who has control of the kitchen. I follow the recipes as I am told. What about the mushrooms? You changed the whole recipe and you added one. You even want salt on the mushrooms. And it's starting <laughs> to get personal. Jen, let's get down to where it's supposed to be. The way you treat us, the way you manipulate and the way I had to buy groceries this morning. Where's my money for my groceries that you owe me? Now, first of all, my son you was... You haven't paid me. My son was wired this morning, and you gave I'd him... I'd say he was wired. Excuse me. We don't f uh, do that, David. I come in here, and I work. I open the place. I do what I'm supposed to, and I don't get paid. Where's my paycheck? That's not Why isn't he paid? I have checks written out to your That's wife. That's not right. He has been working on uh, the spirit of getting paid. He's been working on the spirit of getting paid. <laughs> There's no way that man just said that with his chest. He literally just said that. The spirit of getting paid. Um, actually, <laughs> he is getting paid in the spirit. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying, Cameron. Boy, <laughs> if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> That's absurd! The spirit, and I will pay him. This just sounds crazy. Where's Jen going? She's running to get checks all of a sudden. Honey, you're missing the point. Don't concentrate on the check. I said I'm gonna pay him. That's all that's important. I feel I'm a little bit sort of in a, in, in a land of loopy loops. You see how much bullshit's flying around here? Your chef says that he's forced to follow your recipes. Let's see. What right, you come up with. Do me a favor. Yes, Chef. Get out there now. Go and get some beef pate and cook me a burger. A burger. Yes, Chef. Both of you get out there. Bye, guys. This is my career. This is what I love to do. I'm smart enough to know that he's going to like my burger. That just. I am so nervous right now because actually, low key, I want him to make like some amazing, like, mouth-watering burger right now and i'm praying that actually happens because these owners deserve a slap in the face because she was in the kitchen like stepping on his toes being so rude and like i just want vindication i'm praying that's actually what happens i'm praying this is what happens right now <laughs> yeah like i if if he goes this is garbage then you know they're gonna ruin it they're gonna ruin it it's <laughs> a liar dude she can't tell the truth it's crazy the lady is annoying. The dude's pretty chill. No, the dude just said that that guy is working on the spirit of payment. If that guy is delusional. The guy is crazy. How are you going to not pay people? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. The whole place should be on fucking LSD, man. <laughs> okay, I need to taste yeah, he sucks. what this guy can cook. Yes? Jen and David do not get along that Right, Bang? Imagine that guy being your boss. Yeah, work on the spirit of payment and we'll figure out when I'll pay you later. <laughs> Hi, Bang. Welcome back. Alan is stupid, but Jen is a B word. Okay, okay, okay. I agree. Alan is a little lost. Well, he's very opinionated and that's difficult for my wife. Jen. You heard how he attacked me. I and know you that. You stand up for your wife. I'm starting I am, right here. I am standing up for you, but I'm realizing how difficult our situation is. <laughs> While Chef David shops for ingredients for his burger, right? Chef Ramsay decides Victim? to visit Daniel to get his perspective on the issues at Burger Kitchen. You will love the burger name. I'm excited. Daniel. Hi. How are you? Good. Good well, to see you. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Yeah. It's a nice little cozy place. <laughs> How long have you been in here? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Five years. <laughs> I've lived with he has the spirit of standing up to her. The spirit of is going to become a phrase around here. <laughs> Wendy for three. She is I'm my girlfriend. Right okay, Hi, Wendy. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. What does Wendy do? I go in when he's there. Only at night. Not there. Only when they're not there, she comes in. Well, sit down. Let's have a, let's have a chat. There was a falling out between Wendy and my family. My dad. <gasps> this is the girl that goes, I like it. I like it. Oh God, we saw that clip, guys. Oh, I'm I'm excited to hear the lore behind this this whole thing. Is that a penguin um, I see? The black-haired lady. 
take me back to the beginning. Well, when you invested in this restaurant, unknown to you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How frustrating was that? I mean, Very, your dad uh, was handling your money? It was in a trust account. Right. That he had access to. How do we get in this situation? My dad, in all his wisdom and the way he yeah. could manipulate, said, you know, why don't we open a restaurant? And I said, well, that's a little ridiculous. You know, we know nothing about it. Let's not do that. Unbelievable. How much did it take? 250000 Wow. I was infuriated. Why did you do this? You know, without even my approval. And he's like, I thought you'd like it. I wonder if... Legal, like he could actually sue his dad and get his money back but i don't know how much he could actually recover but also if he had the right to like control the money then maybe he has no legal recourse are you kidding me it's ridiculous it's your money yeah i know what's the relationship with your father like now how'd you get on mm -hmm. it's not good no i mean it's i, I can good. feel that when was the last time you actually made a decision together Never. My dad still treats me like a child. It almost makes me want to cry. Yeah, he that's fair whiskey. Way too often, and he doesn't tell anyone. Ten menus. More. Over twenty. Over twenty different menu changes. Twenty menu changes in thirteen months. Oh my god. Wow. I I can't get even on the books. I'm not even on the records. You know, I've asked him numerous times. I've asked the accountant. Uh, this is like crazy. three months ago. This is the only fucking proof I have, which is a joke. This was to placate me when the restaurant first opened. That was that's a joke. That's not true. This is printed out on a computer. This, Five this dollars is nothing. A share, by the way. This is nothing. <laughs> this is not. This is toilet paper. I thought it was gonna be bad, but I didn't think it was gonna be quite that bad. Yeah, I just, right, I don't Mando. Trust him anymore. It's taken a while for me to kind of like come to that um, realization, you know, but. Um, Hard. You know, it's hard oh, to Phoebe, I'm happen. sorry. It's hard to watch somebody get beaten down so much and like the fight is no longer there. <gasps> he has the spirit of truth. That's all that matters. Oh my God. <laughs> Whiskey. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, right, Girl Burrito? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's giving me an even deeper insight. Run it as normal tonight. Yeah. And just pretend <laughs> so I'm not there, but I'll be in and out. Yeah. Watching everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to meet you both. Thank you. Okay. I just say thank you again. Okay. So much. Thank, you. thank you. See you later tonight. Bye. Thank you very much. Right? Burgers are so simple. Even, like, they have such a good location, too. If they could just do an adequate burger in, like, a clean environment, I feel like they would clean up. But, like, they're just producing garbage. Back at the restaurant, David is preparing Chef Ramsay's burger. Let's call this one the Redemption Burger. And for the Redemption first time since burger. He started working at the restaurant, he is using his own recipe. But this time, I want to season it our way. This is very important to me that when I make this burger, it's a good burger. But at least it's going to be my burger, and it's not going to be Jen and Alan's burger. Let's start getting this thing ready. Are you making them a burger too? Yeah. With the Wago. A what? With the Wago. I'm smart enough to listen to what Chef Ramsay wanted. He wants a nice, juicy burger. He wants something with flavor, not frozen meat. Medium rare, brother. Okay, get it off. We're ready. I'm so Here nervous. Yeah, I'm burger. so yeah. nervous. Here we go. I know if you're eating lunch, don't worry. Yeah, Please. I just made a burger. My ingredients. Your own ingredients? Yes. Wow. So it's not on the menu? No. Do you want to try it? Some people have called me a meat sculptor or a meat creator. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> Meat sculptor or meat creator? <laughs> Different celebrities have eaten my food and have said it was fantastic. Yes. What's in there? <laughs> Here you'll see. Yeah, uh, try it. I, I can see the blood, it's, but what's it's, in there? It's the uh, Wagyu mix. But right, I, what I've done is I've added certain spices and I made a cheeseburger. I don't like a bun. Alan, you're not a meat expert. You don't know a thing about meat. The only thing you know how to do is <laughs> sit on the computer in there and change menus. That's what you do. <laughs> and you made this? Yes. It's amazing. That is hideous. Oh! At least it's seasoned. This is the burger Cameron. I'm going for. Yeah. David, please. Presentation. Uh, it looks great. Thank you, Chef. Explain, please. I'm using smoked Gruyere with grilled tomato, spring mix with a mustard aioli and a jumbo pickle homemade. <gasps> I 
had earlier. This is this looks night and day. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Bloody hell. I mean, that's what I call a burger. And how does it taste? It's delicious. burn garlic bread how do you do that slater i'm so pumped let's go yes he knows what he's doing he's being held back by these jerks he did magic yeah when you let the chef cook mm, interesting how that works right chef the temperature's perfect and the roll is crispy yeah chef would you like to have a little taste i'd love to <laughs> What is that strong taste that I'm tasting? Gria cheese, and it's smoked, right? Yes. Yeah, I love it. Did that go through the meat? I taste something stronger in there, like a dry-aged or something beef. But I do like my meat red in it. I, I am a medium-rare girl. Problem is, that's not medium-rare as it should be. It may be medium, uh, but I can tell you one, it's bloody juicy. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, I'll give that <laughs> What's that strong taste in there? Is that... <coughs> Flavor? Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't have that. <laughs> oh my god, this woman is too much. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're really hating for no reason. She's a bit of peach. Nine out of ten. <laughs> right? Love that title there, by the way. Redemption Burger. And you certainly did that. Sucked on this burger, Jen. And you too, Alan. <laughs> right? Us? Like that? Because I thought the Wagyu meat was better. You got your priorities wrong. Because of the word Wagyu sounds glamorous and expensive. It doesn't mean you say it's going to deliver you the most tastiest burger. <laughs> My question to you is that if you know that your burgers are better than what you're cooking currently, what the fuck are you doing? I'm forced into making what they like me to make. And right. If I try to do a change, I'm persecuted for making a change. And he wants to blame me for everything in the kitchen. Chef. And I'm not that powerful, Chef Ramsay. I'm a 64-year-old woman. I, but, I can't control it, all this, but, what he's saying. How am I that powerful? Do you see a chef hat on me? Do you see me swirling the pans or making the patties or chopping the mushrooms or putting the salt on? I mean, what really... If he... He has a passion for food. If he can make burgers that good, why would he choose to make bad burgers? Because of you, lady! Because of you and your husband! What do you mean? Oh, I'm a 64-year-old woman. Oh, I'm so petite and small. I could never make him do anything. Oh, except that you're in a position of power and own the restaurant? Like, what do you mean? Like, you are the problem. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I could never do anything like that. Like, what? Seriously insane. Right? Apple, they own the restaurant, though. Crap. And that thing is seasoned beautifully. Cheese. Gives it that little bit of saltiness. Absolutely delicious. Thank you, Chef. Jen? Whatever. Jen? Hi, sorry. This is ridiculous. When she's mad that her chef actually can cook, right? She's literally mad that her chef can actually cook. She's a girl that doesn't pay you. Literally, grow burrito. <laughs> yeah, Mando. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the worst type of person. Like, I don't like people that just, like, completely avoid. Like, I don't like confrontation. Like, if something gets too heated or whatever, like, obviously, like, I definitely shut down. But, like don't start something and then the second somebody responds or stands up for themselves walk away like that's so bad that is so crazy like how are you gonna like if you don't dish it if you can't take it that's all i'm gonna say she walks out and stands in the corner waiting for gordon to cry to him she's a gaslighter professional literally you're soft cook david has proven to chef ramsay that thing is seasoned beautifully absolutely delicious he can cook a winning burger when he is not confined by jen and alan's recipes Ooh. But the chef's success doesn't appear to be appreciated by one of the owners. Jen? Jen? <laughs> right? Like she's actually upset? 
because your chef can cook better than what you're making him cook. Like, I don't understand your anger. Like, you're confused. Where's Jen? Thank you. Jen uh. got up from the tasting because Jen wanted me to be the reason that their she does. restaurant hasn't made it. Jen, what's the matter? What's wrong? I'm 64 years old. I've, <laughs> I've been through many, many different situations. Yeah. My situation is to get this restaurant productive and right. prosperous. It's not about some bully or some fool. But is that why you just walked out? Because my heart hurt. What do I do? Is that a false thing? If I have to sit there and smile and say that that everything is fine? I can't do that. No, but you just didn't tell me what's going on. That's so. I'm facing a bully who has been abusive to me. Who's we need to address taken... this. But just for you to get up and walk out, it just looks a little bit weird. I need you. And I think more importantly, I think Alan does. What? Yeah, love how dedicated that man is to his meat patty. Yeah, he's still there. He's still there eating it. She's just a horrible person, right? Like, she's playing the victim. Also, Alan just wanted to spend $250,000 just so he could eat Wagyu beef and have an excuse to do that. Like, he honestly should have, instead of opening a restaurant, just, like, bought a Wagyu beef farm and just, like, ate, ate burgers all day. And not burgers, just beef patties. That's all he should have done. Like, he needs to get out of the restaurant industry because that's the only thing that brings him joy. <laughs> yeah? Okay, please. Right, I'm, Come on. I, okay. I feel a good energy from Chef Ramsay. If I was here to be in a positive place, I felt very comfortable. <laughs> Slater's like, can I say this? Um, can I speak? <laughs> Oh no, Slater. <laughs> she hasn't gotten laid in 10 years. Oh no. Oh no, Slater. <laughs> back. Okay, Jen's back. Found her. Uh, yeah, she got a little bit upset and she was... Uh... I understand. Well, because I, I, I know that the chef can deliver this kind of burger. And, Please, should have, and should have delivered it before. Why did Jen just walk out the back door? That was a different issue. That's well, got what nothing is the to issue? Do. Because you're, 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 no, because you're a bully. To do. You bully. say nasty no. things to me. Let me explain something and to you, Jen. I don't care what you Jen, say. Jen, stop. Wait, 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 take it easy. Eight to 12 chefs walk out. Since the day I walked in here, you want me to fail. I think that woman's a shark. If you get in the water with them, you might get your testicles bit off. The reason you walked out the back door is because you delusional. wanted Chef Ramsey to fire Jen, 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 Jen. That's why she that walked out. That is not the truth. Right, stop, stop there two seconds. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The only thing we've seen is her biting at him and him defending himself. So I don't know what she means. Bullying. I mean, he does have some biting remarks, but I do kind of believe that it's earned. Like, I don't think he's just saying that because he likes being mean to her. I think he's saying that because she harasses him and he can't stand it. Which, like, I'm not saying it's right that he, the, the mean things he says, like, we can be adults and not resort to name calling. But I will definitely say she's, oh, she's in the wrong. <laughs> there we go. The Whatever. <laughs> you running your job, watching you do your job, and you running a Okay. Finish service. We'll talk after that. Okay? Delicious. Oh, Thank God. Let's go. <laughs> the staff prepares for dinner. One other thing, Alan is something he wants Just to share turn. with Chef Ramsay. I'd like to give you my book. You got your own uh, cookbook? I wrote a book. You wrote a book? Yeah, I wrote a book. Gentle Satan. It was about my father. My, that's what my mother called him. Is that you on the cover there? That's my father. That's your father? That's me. Did you have a, a bad relationship with him? Oh, yeah, because 34 years ago, he wanted me to stay in Australia and be in his business. And I said, Dad, I don't want to be in their business. Plus, I've met a wonderful girl in New York. I want to move there. He said, if you leave Australia, it'll be the end of us forever. You didn't want to be controlled, right? No, I didn't want to be controlled. Did you love him? It's hard to say. It's a, it's a love-hate relationship. How can you love someone who stabbed you so much in the back? And to think that a father would do that to his own son is beyond shocking. Um, it sounds like a compelling read. I'll have a read of that tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bedtime reading. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you later. 
Interesting. Interesting. More lore. Welcome to Vegas Kitchen. My name is Alan. I'm Yenna. Thank you for coming. From the moment Chef Ramsay arrived, he has been hit with a variety of issues. It's now time for dinner service. One, two, three. Mando's <laughs> like, yeah, he's not reading that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like he's going to read some of it just to get an idea, like to get the background information about this guy. Like he's probably curious to like know, to know like what his issue is. He does read it. I believe he does. Three, let's go. Let's One, go. two, three, let's go. Okay. All right. Okay, good. And for the first time in a long time, Daniel will be working alongside his father and mother. All right. What can I get you? Can I get a Texas chili burger, please? Sure. How do you want to cook? Medium, please. Okay. Texas chili. Texas medium. Chili. Bar. Give that. You got your okay. two tickets. All right. So two Texas chili, one Texas chili. That's it, just one. Alejandro, Texas chili burger medium. Hey, what are you actually gonna, what, what are you doing tonight? I've been hosting, expediting. Okay. Right, Corbino? A lot. So is your father taking orders as well? No, he's just hosting. No. Okay. Which I don't want him to do, I've been wanting him to just stay by the register. Yeah. And just run bills. He doesn't like listening, does he? No one likes no. listening. That beer is rated in the top 10 in California by the leading beer editor. Excellent beer. I didn't. I would literally, if I was sitting eating dinner and someone came up and they're like, that beer is really good, or it just like kept coming up to me, I would definitely be like, please leave. Please, for the love of God, leave me and my family alone. Let us have a meal in private. I want my dad to be hosting. He has a yeah. breath problem. He does have bad breath. He walks around with bad breath. And I know, I know for a fact, I've seen it. Some of the customers, when he starts talking, they lean back. Every, every beer that's just. Sorry, come on. Don't, don't linger on the team. I'm not. Okay, but come on. Right, Gregorino? It's like a threat. Doesn't listen. Doesn't listen. Hey, Danny, do you mind if I see you in my office? I did, I'm not here. talking to you. Just, here, just for a second. All I did was greet people. That's fine. I didn't do anything else. I know. Okay, so listen. And I'm happy to take that role. I don't need any other role. Fine, then greet, and then don't linger on the tables. I won't right. linger. You're There's mistaken no about my... You're mistaken. Alan and Daniel never work together in yeah. the evening normally. No. Oh, no. no. He's a threat to society. No, it's just, it's just how it is. Daniel's dad. Listen, here's the thing, Fifi. I agree, like, greeting people is not weird. Like, in Toronto, even, like, people are so chatty. Like, they, I certainly strike up conversations with servers and, like, have really great moments like that. But what he's doing is weird. He's, like, walking up to people and just, like, saying unsolicited things. He's not even the server. He's not even, like, it's not like it's, like, when they walk in. It's, like, he's just continuously, like, hovering over them while they're eating. That's not, that's just weird. That's not hosting. Imagine that guy's your dad, right, Bang? Oh, yeah, with his spirit whiskey. Some chit-chat is fine, but he's yapping. Yeah, listen, as a serial yapper, I feel like he's crossed the line of too much yapping. Doesn't listen. No you think so, Boxy? He doesn't understand the word no. He just doesn't. He doesn't listen to Danny. All right, so where are we at? We're okay. I can't do these tickets like this. There's not enough room for them. All right, it's okay. It's okay. I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh, he's getting overwhelmed. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. He's gotten too many tickets. I'm waiting for a breakfast. breakfast that's with, with turkey meat. meat. Is yes. that breakfast turkey? Yes. No, that's a dog. Hi, Mel. Dog. How are you? No, no, no. Just don't, 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 don't start. I don't need you second guessing me, Austin. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. Despite all the confusion in the kitchen. Let's go, guys. Pick it up. Burgers are being sent out quickly. Got a breakfast burger here. But that doesn't mean the customers are satisfied with their meal. It's like oozing grease. Yeah. It's really mushy. Oh, okay. And as dinner service continues, yeah. no marinara sauce. So does the pattern of unhappy customers. I said medium well. Okay, all right, this is not medium well. I'm right, sorry about thank that. You. Oh shit. Medium no. well. That's not. Oh no. Oh no. So wait, just to be clear, they're doing the previous menu, right? It's not like the old menu. Yeah, marinara on a burger. Mm mm. Like they're doing the the menu that's been out. Like they didn't redo it. Oh, yeah, that's gross. And frequent returns oh, to the kitchen. This was not supposed to be a junior cheeseburger. I'm not going to say that the food isn't the problem, but the entire ticket system is messed up. It's total chaos. Let me show you something. What does it say? It says junior burger. Okay, with fries. that's a junior cheeseburger with fries. Let's go with it. What's really screwed up is their ticket system. It's like. Are you throwing me under the bus? 
right now? I'm talking about your ticket system. You have the carbons here. The order comes out. You give the carbon to the waiter. They take it to the table. That's it. Final. Done. Simple. You know? It's I don't know simple. what. Well, let me run it. I can run it then. You want to run yes, it? Yes, you can go behind there and I'll run it. Just see what you All right. Okay, okay. fine. <sighs> David doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. He looks like a deer in headlights. A trained monkey could take tickets and get them out on time. That's nothing. I've never seen a family that's so worried of being thrown under a bus. No one's being thrown under a bus here, man. Is this ticketing system actually bad? I'm not familiar with the, like, backside of restaurants. Is it different than normal ones? Are they doing something different? Or is it, like... No, it's fine? Okay, okay. Because he doesn't seem to... I'm kind of not understanding his complaint there. This is interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I will help uh, you out. What in the fuck is all this for? All these tickets here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a game of solitaire. Is this what it's like normally? This is, yes. I think this place needs help so bad. Okay, actually, come on. That ticketing system is messed up. What is going on? This is not organized. Really? You think this is organized? This looks so chaotic. How do they know what's happening? That's absurd. All of these things all over the the table. Like, how do you know what's what? With the ticketing process, it's hard for the kitchen to really take time and focus on every burger and make it the best. Table two, do they have their fries? Table two, there is no table two. Table fucking two. Jesus, guys, I'm gonna. This is forty-two. That's forty-two. There's two guests. Why do you think it says table it's right there? Two. Listen, you're you're fucked. Does this say table two? It says 42. It, there, there's two people. Don't, table two is not going to have 42 fucking guests. Danny, Come on, big fucking man. Danny. I'm going to jump over the side and say you knocked your ass out if you don't oh, you stop are, it. Oh, you are. You are. Come in right now, man. Come in right now. You know what? You're not, you're not, you're not, get out of here. The son is so disrespectful. See, I was like empathetic with him, but he's being insane. Do you think this is appropriate? Like, is this like normal in kitchens to talk to people like this? Because this is so disrespectful. Like, he's so rude. For what? Why do you think anyone deserves to be talked to that way? Yeah, like, that is not okay. That is your employee. You don't get to belittle them and threaten them with violence at every turn. Right, Groberino? Yeah. Who wants to fucking fight me? You want to threaten me? You want to threaten me? Get the fuck out right now. Yeah, get Please. out of here. Get, get out, out right now. Get out right now. Get the fuck out right get now. Out. Out. Done. Get out. Done. You're done. I'm done. You're done. Done. Bye. Done. Goodbye. I the only one who knows how to make food in this whole restaurant, they're going to fire him? Bold. Bold move, Cotton. We'll see how that works out for you. It's 90 minutes into a terrible dinner service. I'm gonna jump over the side and say you knocked your ass out of you. Oh, you are! You are! You are! Come here right now, man! Come here right now! And Chef David is targeting another member of this dysfunctional family. You wanna threaten me? You wanna threaten me? Get the fuck out right now! Get the fuck out of here! What is he thinking? You're done! I probably am in the wrong, but I'm not gonna have some crackhead yell at me. Don't do that right now. What the fuck? Dude, it was a miscommunication on the podcast. I don't care. Just chill, let's Daniel, chill out. Don't, don't let's Daniel, chill out. Let Danny handle it. I've taken so much shit from so many people, so many, that, that I just cracked. I cracked. What's wrong? Oh, he's in there screaming like a maniac. I told him to scream at me, quit acting like a kid. I jump over there and thump his ass. I don't need him acting like that in there. They've got too much confusion going on. You've got Danny, you've got his girlfriend, mm -hmm. you've got the mother, mm -hmm. and you've got the father. Yeah. And none of them go to the top four. The elevator don't go there, brother. I'm sorry, chef. Did he ask you to leave? With yes, he did. He told me I'm fired. This is the most fucked up place I've ever worked at. The entire family is insane. They're all crazy. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm not going to lie. He did kind of go a little off the rails with threatening violence at him, but I cannot say that he's wrong to be upset. He was being belittled continuously. He's been being doubted. The ticketing system doesn't make any sense. It literally says table two, and then they're getting mad at him. He's he's swearing at him. 
for reading the ticket, which the ticket is wrong. Fix your tickets if they're if they're not easy to read. And then he's getting belittled and and treated like garbage for not being for not being clear on this weird system. I don't know. The son, I honestly think the son is so angry at his father and resents his father, but can't lash out at him. So instead he lashes out at the executive chef and then he's the punching bag for everyone's anger and at each other. Yeah, they nobody deserves to be treated like that. So he's gonna beat me up. So I fired him. Is it always this crazy? Always? Uh, All right, 14, oh, no. when, we need it, it, less oh, cooked fries, no. and this is too rare. Look at this. Oh, come on. What is this? What was this? That was supposed to be all double check the tickets. Hi, Sue! It's a summer set oh, shire. It's supposed to be medium. How rare. are you, Sue? I'd rather keep them waiting for Thanks for the lyric. Beautifully. Right, nature? Kitchen. Not surprisingly, the dining room is a disaster as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's no customers. Marilyn. They left. Jesus. And they just got up and went? They said they don't want to order anything else. All they had was a root beer float, so I gave it to them on the house. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Take the chair. Yeah. Bloody hell. When a customer gets up second time round and walks out and leaves their food, now it's terrible. Burger kitchen. Yeah, right? Burger massacre. With dinner service completely falling apart, Chef David Blaine returns. Hi, nice Chef. But he hasn't come back to cook. Hey, Jen, you fired me on your thousand dollar paycheck right now. California law states that you pay me before you fire me. Just write my check. All right. And I don't want this one to bounce, please. All right, David, we'll try I don't feel like playing handball today with my checks. David is over here, and he wants his thousand dollar check because Danny's fired him. Why did Danny fire him? It was, he was right to fire him. He's saying he wants his thousand dollar check. The other ones have bounced. Do we have a thousand dollars to pay him? You can't talk to uh, him okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay, thank you. Take it David, easy. as you know, I don't have a thousand dollars right today, but I can pay you. I don't have a thousand dollars today. Um, so. <laughs> oh. Who do they think they're going to hire on the spirit of payment? Who do they think they're going to get who can make a better burger, who works on the spirit of payment? Like, what are they think? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? I my check because I won't come back here. Who knows tomorrow if you're going to even be here? Boxy. I'm obviously going to be here. That's obvious. And you know that. You know what? And I don't you're know what happened. Her, and hopefully you won't be here, man. I'm telling you that. Give me my check and I'll cash it tomorrow. Post it for tomorrow. Fine. You want me to do it, honey? I'll just write a check for $1,000. Jen, take yeah, right, right Corbrino? Strips of the Prozac. It's not necessary. Jen, 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 Jen just no, write the check. No, 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 I need to say this. Please. What do you need to say? Upset. What do you need to say? Did Danny give you back the money for the produce you bought this yes, morning? Yes, he did. What did he give you back? He gave you back $100. I also gave you $15 in change. Oh, would change. you like some money? Well, didn't take $15 out. Money's 20 for your Prozac. We'll be oh, even. Right. We don't it, need to say, say that. It, 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 First of all, Jen had nothing to do with the Right, Soupy? That's literally Gordon right now. Gordon is like, what is going on? Oh, this isn't even a kitchen nightmare. This is a this is a family nightmare. This has nothing to do with him. He can't fix their problems. Why do they call Gordon when they just are so dysfunctional? There's nothing Gordon can solve with this. Kids, this isn't about this sitting between me and Danny at this point. It's not between me and you. It's between me and you and the your use and me the Prozac. Now give me my check. While Chef Ramsay has observed many difficult situations over the years, Give me my check. tonight's dinner service might just be the craziest he has ever seen. Give me my check right okay. now and post okay. it for tomorrow. Okay. I'm not playing. I want okay, it. David, I will write David, you a check. Please stop. Please okay, stop just give my check. Please stop please, saying Jane, all Go and the write truth. the check. I'm not on anything. He's the one that needs this so-called Prozac. I don't even know what it does. What do, we, what do we owe you? What do we owe you? What do we owe you? thousand dollars. thousand dollars? Let's pay it up. What Jen is the problem? Danny, Jen come had on. nothing to do with that. Oh, come on. She is Danny did fine. This was the clip we watched in that, in that, like, highlight one. It makes so much sense. I thought he was so rude for no reason. Now I know! Now I know! These people are crazy! Uh, it doesn't matter if God fired me. She's the problem. Danny fired you, not the me. The problem in this restaurant, my God, is that lady, Alan. How can you blame her for something that Danny did? I'm not blaming her. I just, I'm just telling her she needs Prozac. I'm telling her the truth. It's a 
say that she needs Prozac or anything like that, that's below the belt and it's disgusting and I've lost all respect for it. <laughs> I'm not on Prozac. Who cares if you're on the fucking Prozac? Yeah. Don't worry about that. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Write the check for a thousand. And it's you can fine. put the money in tomorrow for us? <laughs> How the fuck can he put the money in? No, I don't think so. Wendy, no. Wendy, no, no, please no. don't get involved right now. These people will never respect him. I'm just over Jen and Alan taking money. They're just fucked up people. They want the son to pay for his salary? What? What? I get Wendy now. At the time, I'm like, this woman is insane. But no, they, they're they they're abusing someone she loves. All right, I never have, man. You, know, and I'm you can't on do that. You don't have the money in there, so I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, what? No, I, I have to be legitimate. Danny's not giving you any more money. He's already giving you too much. I'm sorry, that's pissing me it's off. It's not your choice. Alan, please don't yell at a girl. I love it. Alan, please don't yell at a girl. I love it. Please go out. You're too not sick. Your choice. Just go out. It's, it's not okay. Danny's choice either. All right. You ain't even an owner, Wendy. Wendy, this Wendy, is not, not legitimate tonight. time part not either. Tonight, and she's a young lady. Please don't yell at her. All right. Thank, Thank you, David. You, and David, for the record, yeah. I'm not on Prozac, dear. Well, well you should be. You should be. <laughs> Oh my Honestly, god. No, Marilyn, what's wrong with this one? It's too well done. They ordered medium rare. And it's white in the middle. On a night when 21 dishes are returned. Are you a remake on the mountain? And yet another chef is fired. Are you okay? No. Daniel is devastated. This is, just, this is really hard. Yeah. Oh. I think uh, they're done. Works. Yeah. I honestly think they need to just try to sell the restaurant and like, I don't know. You are? Right? I even got threatened to be beaten up and all I want to do is fucking, oh, I just want to serve a good burger, you know? I mean, you're 29 years of age, you've got the world on your shoulders, for God's sake. This is crazy. This can't do it, you know? <laughs> it all hit me like a floodgate. I just, I just started crying, I couldn't take it. <laughs> Yeah, like, I do think he lashed out at the chef when he's just feeling so much anger at his dad. And he feels like he can't yell at his dad because he feels trapped in the situation and powerless. That's what I think. I think he just was so upset that he was yelling at him, but he didn't mean it. If he just calmed down, yeah, he needed to calm down. <laughs> Locking and sides up! Come on, come on, come on. Take over you. Wake up and take over. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> We're going under. Maybe I should just close the doors. I can't do this. Not this, you know? Bloody hell. God, that's... That's just insane. Oh, man. Duke it out. Oh, to be continued. Is there another part? What the freak? There's another part? What?